Good morning students. Today in this video you are going to learn about active and passive voice. By the end of this video you will be able to understand difference between active and passive voice and secondly you will also learn how to convert a sentence from active to passive voice and vice versa. Before starting with voice we will first revise conjugation of verbs. Here are some examples. Now we will revise present form, past form and past participle. The first example say, said, said. Second make, made, made. Third go, went, gone. Fourth take, took, taken. Fifth come, came, come. Sixth see, saw, seen. And the last is no, new, known. Now we will discuss voice and its types. Voice shows whether the subject of the verb acts or is acted upon. Voice is of two types, active voice and passive voice. In active voice, subject performs an action and is called doer, whereas object receives the action. The sentence structure of active voice is subject plus verb plus object. On the other hand, in passive voice, Subject does not perform any action but receives the action done by some object. And here the sentence structure is object plus verb plus subject where V3 is your past participle and we have one helping verb after object and we use by before subject. The first step in voice is to identify subject, verb and object. Who, so subject, action word, verb and what is your object. We will do single underline for subject, double underline for verb and triple underline for object. There is one example, Ria plays football. Who? Ria, so subject, single underline. What? Football, object, triple underline and the action word plays, so double underline. Now we will discuss how to change active voice into passive. Subject will go to the last, object will come in the beginning. Verb will remain at its place and it will be replaced by its past participle form. We will add helping verb in the passive voice and before subject we will use the word by. We will now learn conversion of active voice into passive voice through mapping. In passive voice, verb is always changed into its past participle form that is V3. If your active voice is given in simple present tense, that is, your verb contains S or ES, then in the passive voice, you will add helping verb is, am, are, followed by past participle. And if the sentence is given in the simple past tense, that means your sentence is having past form of verb, then in passive voice, we will add helping verb was, were, followed by past participle. If active voice is given in simple future, then we will add the word be and in the passive voice, will shall will be changed to will be or shall be followed by past participle. For continuous tense, we will add the word being after the helping verb and there is no passive form for future continuous tense. V1 plus ing will change into past participle form in passive voice. For present, past or future perfect, we will add the word been after has or have followed by past participle. Now we will understand with the help of examples. If your active voice is given the simple present tense, then verb will be having its present form and to convert them into passive, we will use the helping verbs is, am, are followed by past participle. Now, we will read the first sentence, Raj eats an ice cream. Who? Raj. Subject. So, we will do single underline. Action word eats, double underline. What? An ice cream. Triple underline. Now, to change the sentence from active to passive, we will use this mapping. Subject will go to the last. Object will come in the beginning. Verb will change into its past participle. Now, here... An ice cream will come in the beginning, Raj will go to the end, Eats will change to 
eaten. So a sentence will become like this. An ice cream will come in the beginning. Raj will go to the last. Eats will change into eaten. Now, eats is your present form of verb. So here for ice cream, we will use is. An ice cream is eaten by Raj at the end. Full stop. Now, we will do the second sentence. In the second sentence, who, children, so single underline, action word play, double underline, what, football, triple underline, children play football. Now we will do similarly as we have done in the first sentence, football will come in the beginning, children will go to the last, play will change into its past participle. So. Football is, will come in the beginning. Children will go to the last. Play will change into its V3 form played. Now, football is singular so we will use helping verb is and before children we will add the word by at the end full stop. Football is played by children. Now we will discuss the rule 2. If your active voice is given in simple past tense then while changing it into passive, we will use the helping verbs was, were, followed by past participle. Now we'll do the first sentence. Raj ate an ice cream. Who? Raj. So single underline, subject. Action word ate, double underline. What? An ice cream, triple underline. We'll do similarly as we have done in the previous sentence. An ice cream will come in the beginning. Raj will go to last. It will change into its past participle. In the beginning, an ice cream. It will change into eaten. Raj will go to the end. An ice cream is singular. And we have to use the helping verb. Two helping verbs are given, was or were. An ice cream is singular, so we will use was. After eaten, before Raj, we will add the word by. Active voice was given in the past tense, so we have used past helping verbs in the passive voice. So our sentence will become an ice cream was eaten by Raj. Similarly, in the second sentence, we will identify subject, verb and object. Children played football. Who children? So subject single underline. Action word played double underline. What football? Triple underline. Similarly here. Football will come in the beginning, children will go to the last and played will change into its V3 form. In the beginning we will write football, children in the last. Now played is already in it, played is given already in its V3 form. So played will remain played. Now we have to fill the helping verb. Football is again singular so we will use was. So our sentence will become football was played by children at the end full stop. Now we will discuss some more examples of active and passive voice for simple present and simple past tense. The Ria sings a song. Who Ria subject so we have done single underline. Action word sings double underline as it is a verb. What a song object triple underline. Now a song will come in the beginning. Ria will go to the last. Sings will change into its past participle form sung. Before Ria we have to add the word by at the end full stop. Now sings is a present form of verb. So we will add here is a song is sung by Ria. Now we'll do second. She dusted the room. She, subject, single underline. Dusted, verb, double underline. The room, object, so triple underline. The room will come in the beginning. She will go to the last and it will become her. Dusted is already in its past participle form. So, dusted will remain dusted. Before her, we have to add the word by. Now, dusted is here past form of verb. So, with the room, we will add the helping verb, was. The room was dusted by her. Now the third sentence. 
the farmer digs the field the similar way the field will come in the beginning the farmer will go to the last at then full stop will come digs will change into dug before the farmer we will add the word by now digs is the present form of verb so we will use here is the field is dug by the farmer the first sentence the audience enjoyed the concert who the audience subject single underline enjoyed verb double underline the concert object so triple underline the concert will come in the beginning the audience will go to the last enjoyed is already in its v3 form so enjoyed will remain enjoyed before the audience we will add the word by now enjoyed is the past form of verb so with the concert we will use was the concert was enjoyed by the audience the fourth fifth sentence madhu cooks food who madhu subject single underline cooks verb double underline the food object triple underline the food will come in the beginning madhu will go to last cooks will change into cooked before madhu we will add the word by now cooks here is present form of verb so with the food we will write is the food is cooked by madhu full stop see the last sentence the students attended the class who the students so subject single underline attended verb double underline what the class object triple underline the class will come in the beginning the students will go to last attended is already in its v3 form it will remain attended before the students we will add the word by and the class here attended is the past form of verb so with the class we will add the word was so our sentence will become the class was attended by the students example reena bakes the cake who reena subject single underline action word bakes double underline what the cake triple underline now the cake will come in the beginning reena will go to the last full stop at the end bakes will change into baked bakes is a present form of verb so we will use here is so the answer will become the cake is baked by reena now example 8 the children attended the class who the children subject single underline action word attended verb double underline what the class triple underline now the class will come in the beginning the children will go to the last attended is already given in its v3 form it will remain attended now attended is a past tense so here we will add past tense helping verb so the answer will become the class was attended by the children sentence number 9 she writes an essay who she subject single underline writes verb double underline an essay object so triple underline an essay will come in the beginning she will go to the last it will become her writes will change into its v3 form written now writes is a simple present tense so here we will write an essay is written by her full stop the tense sentence raj broke the class who raj subject single underline action word broke double underline what the glass triple underline the glass will come in the beginning raj will go to the last broke will change into its v3 form broken now broke is a past form of verb so here we will add was answer will become the glass was broken by raj full stop the last sentence my parents love me who my parents subject single underline action word love double underline who me so triple underline me will come in the beginning it will become i love will change into loved my parents will go to the last now with i we will use am as helping verb so answer will become i am loved by my parents full stop i hope you all have understood the rules of active to passive voice for simple present and simple past tense now in the next video we will discuss the next rules following these rules 
do related exercises of chapter 17 active and passive voice from your basic english grammar and composition book class 6 thank you